This is a demonstration of flying a Bell Jet Ranger helicopter in X-Plane 10 using ArduPilot Siddle. So we have a copy of X-Plane 10 running here with the, uh, the Jet Ranger sitting on a helipad near Wollongong in Australia. And uh, here we've got a copy of Mission Planner which is um, connected to ArduPilot Siddle. And we have a small mission here to fly out over the beach along the coastline a little bit and then back and then land back at the heliport. So to fly the helicopter it's going to be a completely autonomous flight. It is also possible to fly the helicopter under joystick control. Uh, you can fly it in all the usual modes that you can fly a helicopter. In this particular case though we're going to do it completely autonomously. So uh, we are going to start by uh, arming the helicopter. So I'll click arm disarm and it's now armed. So now it's armed, we can put it into auto mode to start the mission. And it's now in auto. Now I've got to flick the switch on the joystick to uh, disable the interlock. Uh, helicopters in Igcopter have a interlock switch and until you switch that interlock then the rotor doesn't spool up. So you can see now that the rotor is starting to spool up and the RPM report here from X-Plane is showing that it's rising. Once it's spooled up enough, then uh, Igcopter will take off and start flying the mission. And you can see that in the mission here, we have it set to take off to an altitude of 15 metres, and then to fly the mission at 40 metres. So it's now reached its takeoff altitude and started to head off on its mission, heading off to the second waypoint. I'll just show what the tuning's like here. So show the roll pitch and the nav roll nav pitch that we can see a little bit about what's happening with the tuning and it's certainly not perfect uh, it's the first time I've tried to tune the um, roll and pitch attitude controller on a, a full-size helicopter but um, it's certainly doing okay it's keeping it in the air and it's able to fly the mission uh, the roll and the pitch is keeping within a couple of degrees of the desired roll and pitch that away so we can watch it there. So it's now gone out over the beach, it's out over the water. You may have noticed that I'm using spline waypoints in the mission and that's why it's curving around. You see the purple path here is, is curving and now coming up to meet the yellow line. That's because these are spline waypoints here. Uh, every second waypoint is a spline waypoint instead of being a waypoint. And so we'll come up here and run straight along between waypoints 3 and 4 that's for waypoint 4, and then for waypoint 5 it will curve around again. That makes for slightly less dramatic turns of the helicopter, which does make it uh, fly a little bit better, especially with a large helicopter like this. Alright, so it's now heading off towards waypoint 5. After it reaches waypoint 5, it's going to complete its very short flight by coming back and um, stopping above the heliport over here, the helipad, and then it will land. A little bit of uh, instability there, you probably saw it pitch up slightly uh, as it was slowing down for that waypoint. Certainly the tuning will be a little bit better than it is now, but it's good enough for a demo. Right, so it's heading in uh, over the golf course and coming up towards the landing point. So it's slowing down, it's down to about 8 metres a second now, you can see here in the left hand side mission planner. It's down to about 3 metres a second. It's now hovering above the helipad and it's going to start to descend. It's quite cute the way the pilot is actually moving the stick in the simulation of next plane, I really like that. You can tell when your, your D-term is too high because his hand is really jittering about a lot. Okay, so it's coming down now to the helipad. Let's see if it gets a good touchdown. It doesn't look too bad so far. Alright, it's settled down, and now it should automatically detect. It has detected the landing, it's now disarmed, and the helicopter is starting to spin down. It does take a very long time for the Jet Ranger to uh, spool its engine down all the way, so I won't bother uh, keeping the video going. But I hope you've enjoyed uh, flying with Arduipilot Airlines, our first helicopter flight.